Uh, hey there, people. Welcome to Fake Saturday Real Thursday. How's it freaking going? Well, I decided today that instead of making 5,200 Keurig K cups, why not just make a pot of coffee? Let's guess what I went and freaking did. I went and made a pot of coffee. Mmm, coffee. So we got the next four days off. She's got the next forever days off. She doesn't do anything. She's just a kitty. Weather out there looks kind of gloomy. It was raining earlier. But it is what it is. Right now I just want to drive some coffee down my gullet and wake up a bit. I want to attack that back room. Oh yeah, and also I called those, those guys about my uh, that bell check for four grand. Find out what the hell's going on. I'm actually getting a check for four grand. Cool. So guys, I was just reading some stuff on my phone. Apparently if you swipe left it brings up some stuff about news and it shows all about the new RTX cards coming out by NVIDIA. Shows a bunch of other junk and stuff. And one of the things that popped up was the new Canon 740HS. This is the 730HS, which I like to call noise in a small package. Because no matter what setting I put this damn thing on, it just can't. It, it just can't. Uh, great for taking pictures. Takes amazing photos. So if you're looking for a cell phone replacement to pop some decent pictures, she'll do the job. But as far as a camera for vlogging, I don't know how all those YouTubers online can say it is the top camera of 2017, 2018 for a sub $400 camera. Anyway, Canon released the 740HS, which has such features as 4K 60 frame, or sorry, 4K 30 frame per second recording, uh, and then 1080 60 frame, 1080 120 slow mo, 720 240 frame slow mo, so on and so forth. My big question is oh, and it's going for sale in the US for $499, which means in Canada it's probably going to be a $600 point and shoot if that's the case you might as well just buy the g7x for like 800 bucks now i'm gonna admit i've off of like without making videos for youtube and stuff i've been dicking around with that camera for a while trying to find a way to make it usable because i miss filming with a point and shoot you know you can just put it in your pocket take it where you want you always have a camera on you and you know it's supposed to shoot good quality like this camcorder is kind of bulky it doesn't really fit in the pocket that well you know that's why i like filming with the gopro hero 4 it, uh, you know, if I took it out of its skeleton case, I could just put it in my pocket, you know, go places, and if I wanted to shoot a clip, just bust it out and go. Same with the session, but the problem with them too is, you know, they don't have the zoom, they don't have... So if, if you're taking a shot of something that's far away, like let's say I were to take Oreo down to the waterfront and there's a really sick boat out in the middle of the water that I can see with my eye, but when you film on a camera, everything, you know, objects in camera are closer than they appear because of that wide angle that you get. And it's even worse on a GoPro because, well, frig, they really get a wide angle. Obviously this camcorder is sweet because like it has a massive zoom on it. She can really get in there. And with uh, digital assist, it doesn't go into the full digital spectrum to, uh, zoom in it uses like partial like I think the digital zoom on this thing's 12 times when you have it in optical plus digital mode it'll only go into four times digital zoom so you don't get full pixelation but that's still pretty cool right you can get about a 52x zoom out of the damn thing without losing too much quality and I think that's pretty cool but like I said she's not exactly compact so my big concern about the Canon is is it 4k with a chance of noise, or did they fix that problem? Because they put the Digic 8 processor in it, not the Digic 6, which was a Digic 6 or Digic 7 in this one. I can't remember. I think it's Digic 6. I don't know. I don't think I want to risk it. I think I'm just gonna film with this for the time being. I'm just gonna message from Rex on Facebook. He apparently he's outside my house and he needs a socket. Okay. All right, guys. Well, Rex showed up. It looks like he's having some issue with putting his topper on his truck. Uh, his truck. I don't feel like I want to lose my truck. I think they I call these. Old man cap. I think they call these toppers. That's cap. Oh, I'd like one for my truck to be honest. I think I could just throw the dog back there. Well, that's what, that's why I got this. But like Oreo's so small, and that's an eight foot bed, so he'd have a lot of room to fall around. I got the camper there now, so. Oh, after I'm done doing the Trans Am, you should bring this beast over, and we can fix that. Yeah. Oh fuck. It's <laughs> too much work. So how do these things attach even? I got a, I got a few of these things. Well, oh! I got a, the guy that gave it to me had these shit clamps that barely That's even hold it. Oh, it gotta, is. I got to put these on when I get home. So, you know, it'll hold the door up. I thought they went, like there was something that goes into the, the square rails, like how I got those things on my truck. Well, that's what these are. Oh, okay. So if you have the topper on, obviously you don't need those tie downs. That's a thing. 
So you need me to lift this thing off with you, or? Fuck, do you want some screws to put those attachments back in? <laughs> oh, I see what you're doing. The redneck way of holding the top open. I got an ax in the... Okay, never mind, that'll, that'll work. That's working. I'm gonna hop in, it's gonna bust my head open. Yeah, because that broom's not gonna hold. I'll just uh, put my hand here for safety purposes, so if it does drop, I can catch it. Eh. Oh, man. Where's those struts attached to? You should probably look into maybe doing that sometime. Do what? Like reattaching the struts. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's just three little uh, rivets. I have to drill them out and I, just... I got, some, I got a rivet gun in the garage and a drill. Well, goddamn, maybe we should do everything here. You wanna? Vlog and life garage. Yeah, you know, I got the tools, I just don't know how to use them. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's gonna stay up. Your your broom seems pretty trustworthy. <laughs> it's a it's a good broom. Otherwise, I got a motorcycle helmet you can wear just in case you get a bump in the noggin. <laughs> ah, securing the cap. It works better than just driving around with these so, shit boxes on there. How is it when you're driving? Like visibility out the back end. Is it still is it shittier or better? Well, it's or not. It's not, it's not better, having but. it there, but. Oh, these windows open. Oh, dude, this is like a little mini hobo camper. Pretty much. Sweet. I just need it to keep the dogs in. If I do a road trip, I can take the, the tent trailer. Yeah, oh yeah, you got to pop yuppie. Well, yeah, just throw the dogs in the back, right? Guys, this is totally ratchet. There we go. I was able to help Rex get his cap on. Um, tools, you know, tools are tools. I made a little bit of cash on the side. I sold him my old, uh, well, my old, this was brand new, uh, Joe Rocket armored jacket for motorcycling. My motorcycle gloves that I'll never use because they require you to own a motorcycle, which theoretically I do, but insurance is gonna be too spendy. I don't wanna pay that kind of money. Also, while I was out there, I checked the mail. This showed up. Guess what? Give him the pain! That thing I talked about yesterday, and then I talked about earlier this morning, the check came in today. Nice! So I'm gonna rip tip, rip tip? Really? That's, that's where we're going with this right now? Ripping tip? Jesus Murphy. I'm gonna rip tip over to the bank. We're gonna deposit that check, which reminds me, just confirmed with Google, the bank doesn't close till eight. It is currently almost six. We have two hours. I still have a fresh, potentially cold coffee to drink, which I'm gonna drive in my face right now. Let's pitter patter and have at her. I'm gonna go downstairs, rock a piss, and then we're gonna head off to the bank, deposit this monies, 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 monies. It's foggy in there. Someone's been vaping, but someone's me. Rex is right, I gotta buy some new clothes that actually fit me, eh? Freaking wearing a 3XL right now, my body's like probably a 1XL one, one or just XL. I don't think they put a 1 on the XL. I don't know. Man, I've been doing so much walking last night. Like, check out these numbers, guys. This is just from last night and a little bit today. Like 11,317 steps. Just been giving her. I got blisters on the bottom of my feet because they already turned the heat on at work. <laughs> It hasn't been really, I don't know, it's like, it's, it's not, it's like Walmart, you know? Like you go to Walmart and they got that shit automated on a computer where a certain day all of a sudden the uh, air con turns off and then the thermals turn on and it's like, Jesus Murphy, why'd you do that? So it was blistering hot in work last night and I'm pacing around, my feet are getting sweaty and welcome to blister land. Oh man, it's freaking raining out. Son of a bitch. I left my garage light on again. Son of a bitch. I wonder what that thing is in the front of my dash, that little knob that sticks out. I don't know. Anyway, let's do a drive, because we haven't done one of those since the last vlog. <gasps> Go to the bank, pause up my monies. Yeah, because like we totally need more rain. I'm gonna have to nail that, that lawn one more time. It's supposed to be sunny on Saturday and Sunday. So I might do the lawn on Sunday, get it chopped, and maybe I'll use that day there to clean the garage. I want to re uh, I want to move shit around and make more room in there and you know so on and so forth because uh, it's pretty friggin disgusting in there right now like everything's everywhere you gotta like climb over stuff to get to the toolbox and stuff it's just a pain in the arse so I figure we'll do that on Sunday that way there we can get the mowers out we can put them aside stay there don't jump frig man people have to run that stop sign I figure we can do that on Sundays, move everything around. I kind of want to go to either, the, I think the dollar store sells them. If not, I know Canadian Tire does. Those hooks that you screw into the wall. I've done them last year where I hung up the, um, uh, what the hell is that thing? That, that fertilizer grass seed spreader guy. I hung them up in the back shed uh, on those hooks. I want to get some more for like rakes and 
get all that shit off the floor of the garage because it ends up falling over and stuff. And I figure if I can hang it up in the back shed alongside of the uh, spreaders and all that, it'll make it look a little neater and more organized. So we'll do that there on Sunday, I'm thinking. Because Saturday I'm going to my parents' house for dinner. I don't know if I'll be vlogging Saturday. I don't really... Like, Dad has no problems with the camera. Mom gets a little... Like, she doesn't have a problem with it, but she just prefers not to be on camera. I can respect that. So maybe I'll leave the camera at home when I go to the parents' house for dinner on Saturday. You know, just chill out and have family time and talk about things. Uh, I gotta bring over the Christmas presents so all my parents can wrap them. Because I'm not... I can't... I guys I can't wrap presents like anybody who's been with me for a while and a lot of you have now uh, you stuck it through big big thanks for sticking it up boys really appreciate it but you've seen a couple years when I've wrapped presents and what the outcome was holy Charlie Brown mode engage right like just a mess of paper and about 10 pounds of tape and my mom and dad are pretty good at doing that they've got skills from us being kids I lack said skill you know, my, my, my favorite way of wrapping, which is one my ex taught me, was you go to the store, you buy a gift bag, and you buy tissue paper, right? And then you just drill the gift in the friggin' the bag and then just cover it in tissue paper so they can't see it from a, from a top view. And then you call her a day. To me, that's a great way to wrap a present. But, let's face it, it's not as much fun to unwrap a bagged present. It's kind of boring, right? So, yeah, that's the thing. And it's funny because I called the um, the pension place this morning to find out what the hell is going on and what this is. And it's exactly what I thought it was. I bought stocks in Bell when I was with Ontera. Somehow, don't remember doing it, but apparently I was contributing. And because I haven't been contributing over the past two years, my account went dormant. So by law, they have to pay it out. Now, I could have contacted them sooner if I would have read the letter and said, no, leave them in there and let them accrue interest. But I'm already doing shit like that right now. I got RSPs. I got uh, my pension from Ontera, not Bell. I got all this stuff making money right now for me with investors. Ooh, yeah, this is just... I'm just going to put this in the bank. I'm not going to do anything with it. I was like, oh man, I can buy myself a new editing rig, I can do all... I'm not going to buy myself a new editing rig until that Dell explodes. <laughs> We're going to run that piece of shit right into the dirt, man. Or unless at Christmas time, like right now Dell has a really good deal for an XPS system with an i7-8700, uh, 8 gigs of RAM, I'd rather it have 16, but hey, beggars can't be choosers. And it just has the Intel GMA, and I could always just stick the 960 in there and call it a day. But at the same time, I'm thinking Intel's new chips are coming out, which means AMD is going to be releasing new chips. Whether or not the performance gains from those new chips is going to be really worth it. All these new processors are going to be coming out. We'll have to see what happens. And damn it, this camera wiggled. Is this not locked? There we go. Got to pay attention to that. Anyway, let's go deposit this cash. I'll be back. Done and done, and I do mean done. Let's go home. It's seven o'clock. I kind of want to eat something. Some meat. Let's go home and have some meat. See, normally the old Skivens, the old Adam, would um, basically get money like this and then just beeline it right over to the beer store and buy a 48 pack of beer or something. Get stupid drunk and hung over and have a grand old time. But uh, the new me doesn't play that game. Oh, Frank, guys, use your signal lights. Like, what? what's going on? How come people don't use their blinkers? Like, did I miss the memo or that's apparently an optional thing? But uh, no, that guy would just be Mr. Self-Destruct and go and get some liquors and go to the, hit up the LCBO and buy a bunch of Mott's Clamato Caesars and all sorts of just horrible stuff and pretty much self-destruct, right? Well, not anymore, boys. You know, I talked about getting a new editing rig and all that, but like I said already, I'm going to wait till that XPS 8300 just implodes on itself, just completely fails to the point where I can't fix it anymore. It still works. I'm finding ways around stuff to make it work, make it do its job. And it's doing it fine. It's a little stuttery, crashes every once in a while. Kind of hiccups. It's like that old rusty beater, you know? You want to get a new one, but somebody's like in their car beside me just singing away to like... Some crazy t I was like, oh, maybe I'll go for a strut around Best Buy or something. No, no, I don't need to. You know, I'd like to get a new camera. I'd like to give that G7X a try. I know a lot of YouTubers use it and they love it and it gives good quality video and it's great in low light and all that. 
and it's nice to you know just drop in your pocket but that's nine hundred dollars eight hundred dollars nine hundred dollars it's expensive but I, I i don't need that i don't like for what for youtube videos like come on i guess it'd be different if this was my job but it's not my job my job is my job this is just a hobby and i got the tools to do it now i got this camera i got the gopros at home i got friggin noisy mc friggin cannon nuts you know, I got all these different cameras that I can easily use. I got the DSLR, like, so I really don't need to invest in a new camera. I'll run this thing right into the ground, too. I've got to quit being wasteful with my cash and start paying attention. And, like, even though that deal from Dell for, like, $900 for an i7-8700, uh, 8 gigs of RAM, has an internal video card, but I would easily swap that out. Eh, you know, it would definitely increase rendering performance, but who cares? Like, it takes me a while to render the videos when I do some post-processing, like color correction, sharpness, and contrast, and brightness. Add a couple effects here and there, and it makes the processor sweat a little bit. But whatever, you know? Who cares? Not like I really have all the time in the world. I'm freaking like seven days ahead of myself already. I got time. I'm not on a set schedule. Jesus. I'm not on a set schedule like I was before. Before, I was like, I had to make sure the videos were ready to go at 9 a.m., because in my mind I had to, but now it's like, I just gotta make sure the videos get up. It doesn't matter when they get up, just as long as they get up. You know, I've been doing the one video every two days. That's okay and stuff, but you know, gradually that may not happen and you guys are already aware of that. I can only do what I can do and like I said, this is a hobby and that's what YouTube should have been since day one for people. People made it into a job, apocalypse happened, people bitched and moaned, nothing got done. End of story, right? Yeah. Anyway, let's go home and cook a steak. That was weird. Normally when I get home and I turn off the truck, all the doors unlock. This time it didn't do it. Didn't do it. Another thing I wanted to talk about is, where the frick is my VR helmet, eh? Totally ordered the Lenovo Explorer from Newegg. Ooh, I gotta clean that. Let's heat it up for a bit. She looks kind of grungy in there, boys. But yeah, I ordered the Lenovo Explorer from Newegg at, uh, it was, 312 after all said and done, but I had that $50 off coupon uh, from Honey, which came from whatever site. So it ended up coming up to like after tax is like 270 bones. Cool. What I didn't realize is Newegg is the new eBay or Amazon, if you will, where you can open up an Amazon store and sell your shit. Because I get an email in the most broken English known to man. Like every time I'm videotaping down here, eh? he's, he's got to. He's gotta, like, I can turn off the camera, he'll stop. Come here, give me this freaking thing. Give me that, enough, enough. Jesus, Murphy, every freaking time. Okay, are we doing this? Are we actually doing this? I'm here now. No, it's your mind. Oh. You want it? You want it? <laughs> you want it? You want it? You want it? I don't have it. 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 But I don't have it. I said I don't have it. Get it. Come on. <laughs> I got an idea. I don't know where it is. It's up on top of the box. Figure it out. Figure it out. You're smart. Right? Pomeranians are supposed to be a smart breed. How are you going to get that? Yeah, <laughs> dance for it, that'll work. Yeah, what are you gonna do? I thought you were a smart breed. What, you think you're gonna be annoying and get it back? Sick and tired of listening to that stupid thing squeak? Yeah, I'm sick of it. Listen, as much as I'm sick of your freaking barking. Yeah, I'm sick of that too. Oh, shut up. <laughs> Want a cookie? No, he wants his fox. Where's your fox, Oreo? You better get it. What? Yeah, barking at it is gonna make it come down that much quicker. 
Let me, let me just tease him a little bit with it. See if he can get that. Because he can't jump straight up, the table's in the way. So he's trying to figure it out. Then he gets very frustrated, he comes back to me. Nope, figure it out. Figure it out. You can do it. You're not stupid. Well, maybe you are a little stupid. Come on, figure it out. No. Get it. Jump up there. Come on. Go for it. Go get it. Oh, you're all winded? Okay, you know what? I'll give it to you, but you gotta shut up with it. Right away. Right away bites the squeaker. Hey, I'm sorry about all the commotion. Are you alright? You cool? You alright? Why do you always do that? You gotta get so up and close and personal. Freaking weird cat. Anyway, this thing's about to ding. I should be able to clean all the grease out of it. And uh, let's get a steak going. But um, yeah, I'll talk more about the whole VR thing and why it's a big piss off. Because I won't be getting it for another while. Alrighty, there we go. Food's in the uh, air fryer cooking up. I'm just gonna uh, come upstairs and empty out my pockets because I got my phone on me. I got a bunch of other shit on me. Freaking wallet. And this e-dart. Uh, just get it out of my pockets and out of my hands and put it on the table here. And I'm gonna go reload my coffee. Cause I still have some coffee down there and I freaking love coffee. It's what gives me the energy to keep moving, boys. With Amazon, or with, you know, Amazon, I always check where it's shipping from. Because they tell you, Newegg, I thought just shipped from Newegg. Well, I got this like broken ass English email from some Chinese supplier saying thank you for your purchase going on about how they enjoy loyal customers and all this blaza blaza bling bling and I'm just like okay why are you messaging me what did I buy from Deal Extreme? So it turns out apparently Newegg has other resellers on their sites I was not aware even in the listing for the Lenovo Explorer it doesn't say being shipped from China or being shipped from third party Deal Extreme because it's coming from freaking Deal Extreme. So now this has me worried. Like, is it the authentic one? I just went to heat up the coffee because she's a little, a little cold. It still is cold. What the hell? The microwave quit? They said they're, they're going to try and express ship it and get it to me by the 26th. So we'll see. Right now we are the 20th. 26th, I believe, is next Wednesday. Could be wrong on that. But anyway, they're gonna try and get it to me by then. So that's a thing. You know, I probably should have. Well, no, not really. I was like, I probably should have just went to Staples and bought the HP. But all the reviews that I've read on the HP and the Acer, they're pretty much the same. They're your bare budget MRs. The Lenovo and the Dell, there we go. People said that the sweet spot in the lenses, the Fresnel, Fresnel lenses or Frenzel lenses or whatever the hell they're called, is a lot better. And I noticed that when using my buddy's HP that like looking dead center of the lens, this little spot was like really crystal clear. But as you moved your eye to the outer edge, shit got blurry. Now I'm not saying that, you know, with the HP or the Acer that you're gonna have a bad time because VR gaming is something else like if you've never done it you probably don't have an opinion on it or maybe you do have an opinion because you're one of those opinionated people who have opinions on stuff you never even tried I don't know there are people like that out there trust me Jesus Murphy that's a strong coffee no wonder why I'm so wired for sound right now I had three of these bad boys but as I was uh, giving her there uh, turns out they're gonna try and get it out to me I have no hope in hell that it's gonna happen on time but you never know you know what I need to do with this fan over here? I need to put this fan on a Google plug so I can just say, hey Google, turn on the fans. And I have one right here. I haven't opened this one yet. I'm gonna set this up on this fan so I have to keep going over there and turning it on and off. You know what semi scares me about these things? They don't ever mention how many watts you can drive through them before they, you know, catch fire and take out your house. Just says two year warranty with a phone number. Doesn't really mention shit. And the cool thing is, is if I'm at work, I can actually use this here to turn off the exhaust fan. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and plug this in and we'll set it up with the Google Home. So this is all you get in the box is, you know, a how-to, another how-to, and your remote, or your plug. So you just plug this bad boy into the wall, plug this in here, nothing on this side. And over here you have your sink and your on-off switch. Like, if you just click it, it turns whatever device is plugged in on and off. Or you can use like Google Home or Alexa's or whatever to control this thing. Yeah. Terry Perry Link. I've been tempted to buy the light switches to put on the, uh, for the backlight on the porch so I could remote turn it on and off when I get home from work and stuff. But I do have those sensor lights out there that work pretty damn good. So there we go. It's plugged in. Obviously not turned on yet. Now we need to add it to the phone and sync it. 
So, let's go over to the phone. Pull this a Trailer Park Boys game that I'm playing. Find the Kaza app, because that's what, or Casa, or whatever the hell it is. Let me show you how this works. So we just wait for those to go. There's a studio light one, so I can just like, you know, press this button. Turns them on and off. And to add a device, you click on the plus button up here. We want TP-Link, and I want a smart plug. Plug in your smart if you don't see the LED once power's on. Okay, we do. Seconds until it's test. Is that thing flashing blue? Oh, it is. Okay, so we hit next. So now it's seeking it. Because if you look down there, you see it flashing red and blue. It's seeking it. Looking for your smart plug. Device name. There we go. So let's change that to Studio Fan. Next. And then we're gonna have to set the Wi-Fi for it. Hey, cool. There's an actual fan icon. Sweet. Probably a heater. I don't give a shit. Why? Okay, I gotta do the Wi-Fi now. It wants to... It's trying to hook up to my printer. That's hilarious. All right, so now we're just updating the smart plug. It's got a little bit of a firmware update here. I'm not sure what that gives it, but hopefully awesomeness. I just heard it turn off and on. Probably due to the firmware update. I got the fan running right now because the thing is in default mode on. So the update's complete. Done. Your smart plug is all set up, saved to your device list, done. So now if I turn this off, turns it off, and then fires it right back up. Sweet! Now, the Google Home part. Let me figure that out. I honestly didn't have to do shit. Guys, listen. Hey Google, turn on the studio fan. You got it, turning on the studio fan. Sweet, right? Pretty sweet. I figure I love home automation. I just hope that plug can take the amperage going through it. What's funny is if you get those light bulbs that can actually change color, you know, the um, Philips Hue or whatever they may be called, uh, TP-Link sells them too. I just like TP-Link stuff because it's bare basic bottom bitch and it works. Like it's, it just works. And I like things that just work, you know, right out of the box. That was an easy setup. Anybody could do it. Just follow some on-screen prompts, set up your Wi-Fi and you now don't have to get off your ass to go and turn on and off a fan. You can just do it remotely. But as I was saying about the color changing lights let's say i put bulbs those color changing bulbs in every lamp in the house and i were to say you know change all lights to red googs would come back and be like changing all and however many bulbs there are let's say you have like 50 changing all 50 bulbs to red and boom your entire house is now lit up red every room you walk into you can be like uh you know, you can associate groups like living room lights, kitchen lights, bathroom lights, bedroom lights, computer room lights, whatever you want. And you can like manually say, change lights to this color. Or you can say, hey, you know, I don't want to say the thing because I'll set that stupid speaker off. But you can be like, rotate the colors on the lights and it literally will do like red to green to blue to yellow back to red, like a rotation. And you can do that in your entire house. So if you just don't want to put up Christmas lights, you just do that in your entire house and it's like you're in Christmas all the time. I found something else cool about Google Home. Check this out. Hey Google, turn off everything. Sure, turning off two things. Eh, <laughs> fan turned off, lights turned off. Hey Google, turn on everything. Sure, turning on two things. Sweet. If I had more stuff automated, I could turn off my entire house. I know, my dinner looks sad. So I figured I would just show you guys here. This is that XPS tower I was talking about. Not sure what the number is, like mine's the XPS 8300. The one downstairs, the XPS 9000. They don't really explain too much as to what the heck this one here is. Um, one thing I hate about these computers is the bloatware, like, oh, it comes with Office 365. You just gotta pay for it. It just comes preloaded. Then you gotta buy a license, whatever. But that's basically what she looks like. You know. Looks like it's uh, the same form factor as my 8300, just a small case. Has a card reader, some USB ports on the front, and so on and so forth. Specs aren't too bad. We'll, we'll get into that there. Here, let me just change hands so I can use the mouse. So it comes preloaded with uh, Windows 10 64 bit, obviously. 8 gigs of DDR4. Oh, 266. Oh, okay. Down here we got a 1 terabyte 7200 RPM hard drive. You can opt and add more shit to it. But the price goes up drastically and it's kind of stupid. Like if you want to put an SSD, it's an extra 200 bucks. I don't see the point. I can just do that myself. Or if you want to Optane the shit out of it, add an extra 100 bucks and you get a 16 gig Optane with the one terabyte drive, which will speed things up. 
comes with a bare bone Intel graphics card. You know, whatever. Oh, back that out a little bit. There we go. And then you can opt for an NVIDIA card. But like, I got a 1070, and look what they want for a 1070. 750 freaking dollars. They're off their rocker. So, yeah, that's ridiculous. And then you can go with the AMD series if you, you know, you really want to. And then further down, they got the different wireless, so they just got their bare bone basic one, or you can get the killer, which has more antennas. And you can put a mouse onto it. It comes with a mouse. Comes with uh, DVD, RW, if you want to go Blu-ray, add a Blu-ray drive, whatever. And that's about it. And that's for a thousand dollars. 8700 series. Um, I don't even know what the gigahertz are on those 8700s. Uh, six core processor, 12, up to 4.6 gigahertz. So that's the boost. So it probably starts stock at like 3.2 gigahertz and then it'll turbo up to 4.6. You know, it's, it's not a bad rig, but honestly, I can get through with this XPS 8300. Since I've changed the format of recording on this camera from that XAVCD or whatever the hell they call it to AVCHD, the ease of editing has improved tenfold. I can now preview at full resolution. I can actually run, I can actually do my color correcting and actually preview it, and it doesn't skip six frames every second. It works pretty damn good, I do say so myself. There's still the issue with the USB cutting out, but I'm not too worried about that. What I was actually thinking was, like, if I did decide to pull the trigger on that and get that uh, computer, what I'd probably do is put that one over at the gaming station and put the 1070 into it, because you could add a 1070 right from the get-go, so obviously the power supply is designed to hold a 1070, 1080, and then just take the 960 out of the XPS 8300, stove it into that rig into the uh, cyber power PC and put that over here for video re editing and roll like that but I kind of don't want to spend money so I'm not gonna personally I'd rather buy a better video camera but this one works fine for video so why waste money right one thing I would like to get is something like this minus the bum part just for the back because dude oh my god since I started doing this diet and doing all the working out and all that I've been getting pains in my shoulders and something like a massage attachment for your chair would probably be so fantastic. Oh man, I wonder if Walmart carries these. I could do a tour of Walmart. They're open till 11. It's only 9.40. I kind of don't feel like leaving the house right now though. I just told Rex I didn't want to do coffee because I didn't want to leave the house and, and it's the truth. I don't want to leave the house. Mind you, this one here is 80 bucks, but I never heard of that company, but they got a whole bunch on Amazon. I don't know. I just need something to get the knots out of my shoulders. What I've been doing is actually kind of weird. I got my multivitamins here. Eh? I take like one of these a day. Well, I'll press the bottle between my sore shoulder and the back of the chair and then I do this like rolling motion with my back to make it go up and down and my massage the area and it kind of works for a bit but it'd be nice to have something that has like like a I don't know like a not a spike but like a, a ball coming out of the end that does one of these and just works the area god that feels so good right now like if I had somebody here right now I'd be like take your knuckles drive it into my back and just grind it oh it'd be so fantastic something else that I find myself doing daily is coming to Dell's support site and you can see that I come here so often that I'd actually put the laptop off to the side over here and I'll end up checking the laptop space on the drive scrolling down here and just go and display and then video in hopes that this number will no longer say August 9th 2018 so I can get a better driver for that laptop and actually use it the way it's meant to be used now anybody running one of these not just the Dell laptop but the Acer's the HP's and the Lenovo's with the 2500U 2300U and the 2700U guys hope is coming because AMD is releasing a whole series of processors to go against the non ultra low voltage based uh, Intel chips. They're actually releasing a laptop version of like the true i7 and the i5 and the i3, the ones that are not ultra low voltage, low frequency. Uh, the new processors are called the Ryzen H series. So it'll be the 2500H, 2700H, and they're going to be, instead of like mine's a TDP of 25 watts, 15 max out 25. These ones here are going to be 30 to 45 watt chips going in a laptop. Mine, the 
base clock speed is 2.0 gigahertz. These bad boys, the base clock speed is going to be 3.6 gigahertz. For like the 2500, 2700 is going to be like 3.8. So it's going to be up there. It's going to be quite the contender to the Intel series. And they're packing them with Vega 8 graphics. So if AMD wants this to succeed, they're going to release drivers that don't suck. So right now my laptop is basically a potato. Certain movies I watch on it, reds become blues, blues become reds. I already talked about that. The only way to play a game on it is you have to downscale the monitor manually and then play the game at the at that resolution because at 1080p it just shits the bed uh still no driver updates apparently there's been a report that amd is only going to release a driver every uh, a quarter annually so every three months they're going to release a driver update to fix the problems but like honestly if you're a company and you had your product out there and all you read in the forums were people complaining and stating they're returning it because it's not doing what it's supposed to be doing and that's a major piss off wouldn't you as a company want to fix this problem before word gets out and people just go back to team blue and say well amd screwed up yet again right like imagine like i said when i reviewed this laptop imagine being the one who saved up for a computer for however long let's say you have a part-time job and minimum wage and you know it took you a couple months to save up and you know you sacrificed everything just to have the money to buy it you buy one of these computers thinking, you know, it's going to be great for doing some work, watching some YouTubes and Netflix and maybe some casual gaming. You get it. And then you go to watch YouTube and it won't play the videos because it keeps crashing. Go to watch Netflix. The video looks like you're on an acid trip. Then you fire up your favorite game and it just can't. It just acid trips out on you and then you go to your support site just to find out that yeah we don't we can't support this yet we're still waiting for support wouldn't you just be livid like amd is putting the blame on dell dell's putting the blame on amd acer's putting the blame on amd hp's putting the blame on amd lenovo's putting the blame on amd so when you have the four companies saying well amd is not giving us what we need to give you guys what you need who are you gonna believe the company who makes the chip or the companies who are building computers around this chip and having all these issues come on amd pull your finger out of your ass and figure it out well i guess chuch isn't coming online tonight it's gonna see if he wanted to play that new game with me rings of elysium or elysium or whatever the frig it's called but looks like he passed out after work and forgot to wake up so whatever there's always tomorrow night or Saturday night, or Sunday night. There's a night. Oh, should I have another coffee or not? Is that even a question? I already drank all the coffee in the pot. Ah, you know what? I better not. I better, I better not. I want to get to bed at a decent hour tonight. I don't want to stay up all night like I normally do. I don't know what's going to go on tomorrow. I don't know why that door keeps closing for his crate. I think the cat's doing it. Oh wait, you know what? I never fed you today, did I? Sorry, Oreo. Jesus, Murphy got so backed up in my own bullshit, I forgot to feed the freaking dog. What, you want this kind? Here's your food, stupid. Enjoy your num nums. You got plenty of food, fat cat. You got plenty of. She's not even fat. She's really skinny. Look at her. She's skinny. She's a little skinny mini kitty. She's a little skinny mini kitty. Oh, Jesus. He's always got to walk like right in front of me, but not fast enough. Fucking weirdo dog. I was going to put in a workout today, but I decided not to because. Let me show you my Fitbit stats. Kind of really ripped. Oh, Frig just, just got my 10 floors. Kind of really ripped her hard the other night when I was walking. 94 minutes of freaking exercise, boys. It's pretty hardcore. And all I've eaten today was 1,300 calories. Calories. That's about thir mm, about a thousand calories more than I was eating when I was fasting. So right now what I'm doing guys is this thing called OMAD. One meal a day with intermittent fasting. So basically what that is is you have a four hour window and it was actually mentioned in the comments by I think her name is Keto Craze. It's my buddy's wife, uh, Keto Craze. She was talking about intermittent fasting and how to ease into it. But everybody who knows me knows I don't ease into things. I just jump in balls deep and give her. I've been doing that. Like I said, last Sunday was a bad time. I uh, had 17 beers. I regret it, which is why I decided to quit drinking. We're done with that. We're done with liquor. Not doing me any favors. They can go. You know, I don't even use my medicinal marijuana anymore because I don't need to. I've corrected my sleeping issues. It's amazing. Guys, I can literally hit the pillow now and within five minutes roll over and go to bed. That's something I've never been able to do. I've always had insomnia and I blame it on the diet, the high carb diet, because my body was still energized from all the sugar that it had in it. I just couldn't sleep, which contributed to the insomnia. Like, why didn't the doctors just tell me, 
idiot, fix your diet instead of, here, idiot, have some pills, you know? But um, maybe it's my doctor, who knows? Gotta watch it up here in Canada. Our healthcare system kind of sucks. Where the hell was I going with that? That's why I don't want to have a coffee is because it's kind of late for a coffee. I won't be able to get to sleep tonight. I'm still pretty wired. I may go downstairs later on and beat the shit out of myself on the workout equipment. But the intermittent fasting, basically what it is, is like I said, you have a four hour eating window and then 20 hours you don't eat. So grocery bill is going to get pretty freaking cheap. And I haven't been, all I've been doing is hitting my macros percentage wise, not gram wise. Because you know what? The way I see it is this corpse has a lot of freaking fat in it that it can chew on by itself. I'm just eating. And the problem is I'm not really that hungry. Like I could probably go a couple days without even eating, just drinking water. And it wouldn't even phase me. Ever since doing that, that, that five day fat fast, I could easily do it. But I have my meal every day and it's been working because remember when I went out to the garage and ripped those three holes in the belt? I'm on the last hole and my pants, with a little bit of force, I can actually pull them down while on the last hole of that belt. Losing dimensions, boys. Losing dimensions. Kind of happy about that. But like Rex said today, I guess when he saw me, he's like, holy crap, dude. And I'm like, what? And he's like, you need to buy clothes that fit. But I, like, this is like a still brand new shirt. There's no holes in it. It's freaking mint. It's soft. It's, it's comfortable. It's a 3XL, mind you. It's like I'm wearing a damn camping tent. But I don't want to run out and replace all my clothes because the stuff's still brand new. Like I just bought from Amazon, like what, two, three months ago, two gray shirts and two blue shirts. And they're still in great condition. So I don't really want to replace them. It's like you're stuck between a rock and a hard place or some shit but it's gonna come to a time where none of this stuff's gonna fit me right and I'm gonna have to like see what my waist actually is I'm pretty sure I could probably get into a size 36 right now and it might be a bit snug but I'm betting it would fit fine uh, without a belt but yeah freaking weight loss man it's true what that one guy said it's easier to lose weight than it is to gain muscle and now I agree with him because before I would have told the guy he's off his rocker but honestly proper diet exercise you're in it to win it alrighty guys you probably noticed that I'm wearing a vlogging life shirt sure am reason for that is because I did a workout I busted my ass on the cardio machine and did some weightlifting no I feel fantastic but I don't have to get to bed soon because it's four in the morning so that's gonna be the battle plan so on that note I'm gonna shut her down here tomorrow is another day probably gonna film don't know what we're gonna do we'll figure it out as we go and just have at her so on that note people thanks for watching hopefully you enjoyed the video if you did you know what to do click that freaking like button like I put in the beginning of the video what do you think of that eh pretty sneaky deaky eh a little bit of a give it a look at you like you know one of those don't forget to subscribe if you're new to the channel subscribing helps me out helps you out helps everybody out i don't know how it helps everybody out just that was stupid to say but subscribing is kind of cool and don't forget to ring that bell so you get notifications uh whenever i upload a video leave a comment down below if you got something to say go ahead and say it and until next time people keep on vlogging